Hi there, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's card is a fun fold and it features the Playing in the Rain bundle from Stamping Up. This bundle is on pages 50 and 51 of the mini catalogue. It's a very, very cute stamp set. That's the stamp set there and it has coordinating dies as well, which will cut out all of those images, as well as it comes with some beautiful um, playing in the rain paper. It's actually called Rain or Shine 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. We're going to be using uh, one of these pieces that's actually um, slightly embossed with the white little raindrops. That's the other side of it, a beautiful flirty flamingo. And how about one of these? These are one of the sheets that's in this paper. These are actually um, foiled and the dies in this set will actually cut out these images as well. So not only can you uh, stamp and cut out the images, you can also use them with the dies to cut this out. So pretty, so, so pretty. So the card I've made is a fun fold, as I said, and it folds out like that. So I've, I've actually put another piece of designer series paper in the middle. I don't know that that's necessary. I won't do it with this card, but... It's a cute card, just it's a, a Z fold, side Z fold, I guess you could call it. Um, and I've made it with balmy blue with the with, uh, basic white insert. I've done mo all of the die cutting already. I just want to show you how to put it all together. So this is a die that's in here as well, the very cute um, kite. There's no stamp for that one, it's just the dies, this beautiful little bridge. And this is a piece of the, the some of the designer series paper back here. So what we've got is our basic white cardstock, and this one measures ten inches by ten and a half by four, and I've scored it in half. I'll show you how to make the card in just a moment. I'll just get out all the pieces we're going to need. So we've got our basic white cardstock. We've got two pieces of balmy blue for the back and the front. Another piece of the designer series paper to go on the front of the card, just like that. And I've cut out two pieces of um, from our re stitched rectangle dies for the front as well. And I've just cut a piece of this designer series paper. It's absolutely beautiful paper. Now let me see if I can get a whole sheet of it out. I really want to show you this paper in its full glory because it's so pretty. Here it is. That's what the actual piece looks like. The beautiful daisies and the sky. The, there's actually cloud dyes which will cut these out as well. That's a beautiful scrapbooking piece though, isn't it? Just gorgeous. I felt awful cutting into it, but that's what paper's for. We have to cut it. It's no good sitting in the cupboard and staring at us. So yeah, that's that piece cut out there, backed onto a little piece of balmy blue. Little bridge is a die for the bridge. That's the die there. I've cut that in smoky slate. I've stamped out one of the images already um, and cut it with a circle die in smoky slate. That's the die for the um, kite. So I've already cut that one out. And then it has another little piece that goes inside to cut out the little decorations for it. So let's go ahead and put this together. Let's, I'll show you how the card goes together first. And then we can do all our, our decorating. So as I said, it's a piece of a 4 by 10 and a half of basic white, thick basic white, folded in half. And then what we're going to do is just fold this front piece back on itself. So fold it back to match right there. Okay, you could score it as well, but it's just as easy to fold it back on itself. And that is actually all that there is to making the fold, all right? Our two pieces of um, cardstock, a balmy blue. One will go there, and then one will go at the back as well. So I'm going to put my designer series paper on here first before we put that on. So when I made this, first of all, I had put the raindrops going in a different orientation, which we don't really want. To be honest, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, but it's good to have them going the right way. Why won't this tape come out? There we go. So let's get that on.
And I find it easier to do this this little bit first. Such pretty paper. The smoky slate and the balmy blue through it. I think it's gorgeous. Okay. So now we're going to, I find it easier, as I said, to do the, the top piece first. So with that smaller flap, what we're going to be doing is attaching, putting adhesive just on that small piece, just that one. And we're going to be layering it down like that. So Tombow is your friend on this one. <laughs> put, your, put some Tombow down, or liquid adhesive. And then what I like, what I find is easier is if I just lay that over. And position it so it's there's a, a, a narrow border right around the edge there so just all we've done is put adhesive on that front okay just that bit there that's the, the Z fold if you like uh, on here we're going to put our adhesive back on the back the back piece now I haven't done any stamping for the inside of this one I would probably suggest you do your stamping before you put the card together in case you make any little mistakes then this other piece of balmy blue goes on the back and you just get it all layered, get it all set there so it all matches. And so there you have it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> simple, pretty simple. All right, let's put these two together. That's a balmy blue stitched rectangle. Um, pop this on. Back. Layer that down. There we are. Get that position nicely. There we go. Isn't this paper pretty? I just think it's gorgeous. All right, and let's put our little bridge on here. So all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of Tombow. Um, little bit of uh, liquid glue not too much because I don't want a whole lot leaking out just on the edges maybe a little bit there a little bit there not in the middle because that's where I'm gonna pop the kite into so this fits pretty well perfectly here just a little in the middle so just position that however, whoops, however you want it. I don't want to have all of, I want to be able to see those pretty little flowers. And then the kite, let me show you how this goes together. So I've cut it out in um, a thick basic white. And all we're going to do is position oops, that onto there like that. When I first got this set, I saw this die. I mean, what on earth is that die for? <laughs> and then I figured it out. <laughs> so that goes in there like that, and it fits perfectly. And I've used Mango Melody, because I'm trying to tie in. This is Mango Melody, Balmy Blue. Trying to keep all the colours, the colourway going. Now there's another very cute die in this set, and it cuts out these little. If I could just grab it, and it won't come onto my, can't quite come out of my little basket here. So using the colour of pear pizzazz, there's another little die. This little die that cuts out these three little um, bow ties. Aren't they? Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's so cute. So let's grab my take your pick tool. We're just going to put a dot, a dot of glue in the middle of each one and then adhere it onto our um, adhere it just adhere it onto the kite. So I should really have my silicone mat under here Oops. it's a little bit fiddly but it's 
totally worth it. Totally worth it once you get these on. Oops. She says, see, it's totally worth it. Truly it is. <laughs> I could just get that to sit there. There we go. Obviously, you could also adhere the glue, the adhesive directly onto the little um, string of the kite. But whatever works. <laughs> they are fiddly, I'll admit that, but they're worth it because just the result is so cute. Right, okay, so that is then going to pop into here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Tombow. Whoops. Let's just give that a second to dry. I'm being rushing these too much and whoops. Going from bad to worse now. Here we go. All right. Just leave it for a second. I don't want, don't want it to stick to the paper. That's all. There we go. While that's just drying, before we put the kite in, uh, let's put a couple of um, dimensionals on the back of the sentiment. So as I said, I've already stamped the sentiment in Smoky Slate. Oh, happy day. What a happy little sentiment that is. Put some dimensionals on the back. And then, oops, we can't put that down yet. Right, let's try again with this. They should be dry by now. Yep. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Tombow on here. We won't really see this, and I'm just going to poke it, pop it in, so it sits just behind one of these. Oops. On, the, on that little bridge. You could chop a little bit of it off if you felt it was too long, I guess. All right, that's going to go in there. So let's pop dimensionals on the back. So limited stamping with this one, um, but I really wanted to showcase some of that designer series paper. Um, that is in this sweet because it's so pretty really easy card to make and a cute little way to use the paper and several of those dies whoops those bow ties did not want to go straight today did they this one over here oh happy day the corner and there you have it. My bow ties are not quite straight. I'm going to pop a dimensional underneath, um, a mini dimensional underneath that kite just to pop it up a little bit more, I think. That's probably a good idea. And it will just keep it from moving around also. Maybe even a little um, mini glue dot underneath there would probably help it settle in too. So there you have it. A cute little fun fold. Opens up like that. As I said, I didn't put any um, designer series paper on that one, but I did on this one. It's really kind of up to you. Um, I don't know that it needs it. Once you've got a sentiment in there and some stamping, it will look very cute. Um, 
I think that's a really pretty little card and I hope you give that one a go. Um, I have put a link to the products I've used as well as all the cutting dimensions in the description bar below. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.